the tea. So I had to end up going to get some things out of my storage and I had to go all the way over there. Then I had to come all the way back over here and I needed a ride. I saw a guy in a Jeep yesterday. He thought I was cute. He was like, give me your number. So I gave him my number. So today, um, well, he was trying to hook up or whatever, talk. Maybe he said get drinks. I told him I don't drink. But I was like, I probably could use a ride today because I'm out. So long story short, I was like, when I get back, can you pick me up? And he did pick me up. And he met me at this place and he picked me up and he brought me back to where I am right now. So I thanked him and everything. He asked about how the place looked. I said, oh, it's, you know, it's nice, a lovely hotel. If you would like, you can come up and see. It's the least I could do since he didn't charge me for picking me up. And I've never invited a guy up before, but I was just trying to be nice. And um, so I invited him up. He came into the little hotel room. He checked it out. He said it was nice. I don't drink, but I shared one of these with him. And we toasted. It's like a sparkling soda, a uh, fresca. And then we just kind of talked, small chat. I wanted to just be nice and everything like that. So we toasted. I told him we can kick it later or whatever if I ever come back to Massachusetts. If we want to go to New York together. I told him we went to New York. You know, just real simple. And then I politely walked him back down to his Jeep and all that. And then I gave him a hug, ladies. I gave him a hug. I forgot the number one rule. You don't hug guys that you don't know like that. Like guy friends that you feel comfortable with. Okay. But like new guys that you just meet because it gives mixed signals. I was just trying to be nice, but maybe he thought I was being flirty. Maybe he thought I was loose and he touched my butt. And I didn't want to be real rude and be like, no, that's a deal breaker. But I did say, no, you know, keep it respectful. Don't do that. Um, he was like, oh, well, now, you know, um, now I know you can keep me in line or whatever. And I was like, no, don't do that. But um, I was like, I, I, can, I, I think I gave him another hug. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, up here, though, not down there. I was just trying to be nice, but I think I was trying a little too hard. And when he touched my butt, I feel like this dude really invaded my space. Like, it took me back to when I was eight years old. Let me go back in time with you till um, back to Dallas, Texas, when I was eight years old. And this dude touched this thing. It's like, who would want to touch this? It's not even big like that. It's like this random bump on the log that needs to be smoothed out. Like, who really cares about my butt like that? Like, why touch my butt? It's my butt. I didn't invite you, and the only person that should be touching my butt is my future husband. I don't know you like that, but hugs give guys mixed signals and i forgot that that's like the golden rule in my book don't hug strange guys even if you're being nice so when i was eight years old back in dallas texas um i guess it was like the beginning of the school year and this random guy was like singing to me and my friend in the cafeteria line me and a girlfriend in the cafeteria line we thought it was cute he was singing an old school song later on that week or later on we was in line and this dude was like whispering with his friends and he grabs a big chunk of my little skinny butt and he like didn't just touch it he grabbed it then he laughed about it and i turned around and i felt so invaded like this innocent little church girl and you touched me what and I I was like, I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating. I started crying because I was like, I cannot believe he touched my butt. And I told my teacher, Miss Grays, the school is J.P. Starts in Oak Cliff, Texas. Check the book. Okay, the best teacher I've ever had. She was old school. And I think she was also saved. Um, I'm pretty sure she was Pentecostal. Because she used to wear, well, they all used to wear dresses and skirts and nights. But I'm pretty sure she was saved. She was a good teacher. If you went to J.P. Starts, you might have had Miss Grays back in the day. Because even my uncle had her. Anyway. I told my teacher, she told the principal, and he got a spanking yes. That's what he get for touching my butt. That's how I feel today. I was like, the nerve of him to touch my butt. I was just trying to be nice, but I didn't want to come off rude in the moment. But I was like, no, don't do that. Keep it respectful. And then for some reason, I went in to give him another hug, but I was like, up here this time. And I was like, okay, and if you want, we can still grab a chicken salad tomorrow. Like, I didn't want to come off extra rude, but I still wanted to be like, that's a no no. But I don't think I did a good job of it because it really was a big deal for me, but I tried to play it off. But I was really just trying to like hurry up and be like, okay. You know, I invited him up. Let me get him out of my room because I'm saved. I don't do that. 
but I just feel like I gave mixed signals and I just want to know what you ladies think about it and fellas what do you think about this hugging a guy excessively because I don't think I realized I was hugging him too much I think I hugged him at least for one time when he came to pick me up I said thank you and I gave him a hug and then I think like twice when I walked him back out there the first time that he hugged my butt and for some reason I was like I tried to hug him again, but I think because I was talking, I was just trying to get rid of him, but I didn't want to want it to be obvious, and I nervously hugged him again afterwards. Just weird because when he hugged my butt, I really should have been like, bro, don't do that. I should have punched him. And I gave him a little slap on the on like, no, don't do that. I was like, keep it respectful. But he was like, oh. But I came back up here and I was pissed. I was like, he touched my butt. I felt invaded. But I didn't like I didn't want to be aggressively rude about it, but it's my butt. I guess I can be. But ladies, what you think? Fellas, when girls give you hug, and I wasn't giving the whorish hug, the flirty, like, oh, I'm loose, let's have sex. No, I was just like giving the hug, like I'm ready to go, but I'm just trying to be nice. But I forgot you can't hug guys from the front because they take that as loose. I have to give them the church side girl, like home girl hug. And I wasn't doing that. And I just feel like, ah, oh, yucky. He touched this. Why? What are your thoughts? My butt got touched. Z didn't like it. Ah, uh, guy, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. That is a deal breaker for me. Keep it respectful. Now I know. Don't be giving guys hugs. I already knew that, but I think I was nervous in the moment. I wasn't thinking straight, and I was accidentally giving mixed signals. <sighs> That's my story of getting my butt touched, and it disgusted me. I was like, he's not my husband. Don't touch me. I am a good old-fashioned Pentecostal girl, like, don't touch me like that. But now I know. Deuces!